Hey everyone, my name is Magan and welcome to the very first episode of Indie Showcase. Um, first off, thank you for clicking on this video to uh, watch what I'm doing today. Hopefully you're going to like it. Uh, second, apologies for that intro. <laughs> um, I think it is by far the best and worst thing I've ever made in my entire life. It in no way suits the tone of what I'm about to play, but I loved it, so <laughs> it's staying there. Um, so today we're going to be playing uh, a game called Once Upon a Coma. Um, just to give you a brief outline of what it is, um, I'm going to read the description from the Game Jolt page because this is only a demo. Uh, so it says, Upon waking from a coma, Pete's sister is nowhere to be found. Investigate the screams coming from the heart of Blackwood, the increasingly violent behaviour of the grown-ups and the strange truth about Pete's past in this hauntingly dreamlike fable. Uh, so it's made by a guy called uh, Thomas Brush. I think it's been published through a company called Serenity Forge. They're working on stuff like uh, The King's Bird and um, Where the Water Tastes Like Wine, which is um, some other games which look very interesting as well. Um, but today, we're going to focus on Once Upon a Coma. Uh, I've only watched a brief trailer for it. It looks really interesting. The music looks sounds very cool. Um, so we're just going to go ahead right here and jump straight into things. I'm feeling a bit like calmer today from my usual, like, ah, self. It feels like this game kind of calls for a more relaxed, relaxed chill out feel, but it does look so pretty. And I can play with my PS4 controller, which is nice. All right, here we go. Ooh. Is that, oh, is that just, oh, that's just a little nice, nice feature. I don't think I have to play anything. I'm guessing it's going to give me something maybe at the end of the demo. Like a secret little code that I can put into here. Um, so I can jump. I can't do anything else at the moment, but I'm just going to carry on. I don't know how long this demo is going to be, but hopefully it will hopefully it'll last a little while. Because this looks so pretty. But it looks very well made so far. I like the style of it. So triangle's going to be to enter things. Okay, here we go. Reddington Park. Oh, look at how pretty it all looks. And the music, oh, and the sound effects. I'm already liking this. Ooh, what's this over here? Locked. Okay. So we're just going to have a nice, a nice chill out stream. Not stream, we're not streaming today. It's going to be a nice chill out video. <laughs> I do stream sometimes as well. With everything I'm going to put down in the um, the description, all the links and stuff, to where you can download this game yourself if you'd like to play it. And, you know, links to my social media so you can follow me and bits like that. Let's go in here. Okay, let's not go in there. It's locked. Hey, we've got a little friend up there. Okay, everything's locked at the moment. What about this? Locked. Okay. I can't double jump or anything, so I can't get up there. It's okay though. Oh, I can go in this one. Occam's Barbary. There's the code. C-D-E-C-B-A-C. -E I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna make a note of that. I don't have any paper. Give me one second. It's gonna cut here and you're gonna see me come back. I'm back. I'm just gonna write down this thing. C-D-E-C-B-A-C. -E what I'm actually going to do is I'm well I'm going to I'm going to explore in here a little bit first. And then I think I'm going to go back to the piano. A message is written on the mirror. Yeah, I've already written that down. Pete, don't forget about our favorite place. Lily. This seems important. Okay, I'm going to go I'm going to go back to that piano. Because obviously that is some sort of code. That's if I can get back. Oh no, I won't be able to get back to the piano, will I? Or will I? Because it. I went through a door, but I don't think there was any way to get back through it, was there? Maybe there is. There is. It's fine. Let's go play that tune. It's gonna. It's gonna end it, isn't it? So C D E. So C D E. C. B. A. C. <gasps> Ooh. It unlocked something. <laughs> oh, a chest. Occam's razor. 
A straight edge razor with an intricate blackwood handle and a sharp heavy blade. It aches for a painfully close shave. Press square to stash. Oh, okay, so... Oh, that's cool. It's like a... Yeah! Go away, weeds. We don't like... Yeah. So this is my weapon. Nice. So yeah, I think this is like just a, a kind of platforming adventure game. But now I can destroy things! <laughs> so there must be some fighting to do at some point for me having this. Maybe that was just what I was meant to do. <laughs> can I break down some doors? Ah. I like I like the the feel of it and everything though. It feels quite like very responsive, especially when you like attack there. Like doesn't have that slow feel to it, so it's nice. Uh, I'm gonna come talk to you in a second. I wanted to go up here and talk to my little uh, man that was up here. I don't want I don't want to hit you, but okay. <laughs> Can't believe it's actually you, Pete. We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma. What? Ooh, and you've got um, dialogue choices. Let's go for what coma? It's been a while since you were awake, Pete. You really don't remember what happened? Nope. Well, I'm glad you're back. I do wonder, though, if you've still got it in you. What? Man, you've really forgotten everything, haven't you? We used to call you the Slice. You had the coolest razor from your dad's barber shop. Uh, okay, so I've I've got the razor from my dad's barber shop. That thing was sharp. Your sister thought you were so cool. Yeah, where is she? That's the whole point. She tried to be all macho and go find the grown-ups. Ever since they went missing, she acted like it was a huge deal. It's not. Not in my book. I don't know if that was an appropriate voice, but that's that's what that's the first thing that came to my head. So all the grown-ups have gone missing. As is his sister. And we're off to find everyone. <laughs> Long time no see, Pete. It's me, John. What do you think about my hair? I've been growing it out. I did kind of think you were a girl, but that seems like a rude thing to say. So I'm going to go with, looks great. Because we, we're all about positivity here. I think it's fab. I'm going to be a girl in school this year, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Anyways. I bet the gang will be super glad you woke up. It's been weird since you fell asleep. Yeah? Yeah. It's been spooky about the grown-ups here. Lily went looking for them. And then Ralphie barricaded the entrance to Red Fork Field behind me. Oh, I want to know. I'm, I'm more concerned about Lily, I think. I don't know if she's my older sister or my younger sister. But she's my sister. So I've got to go with Lily. You know, Lily, your sister? She said she... She said something needed to be done. Ooh, what about? It's kind of weird. Ever since the grown-up disappeared, things have been... odd. But, whatever. As long as I can eat ice cream and bacon for dinner every night, I can not give two farts about where the grown-ups are. Okay. Okay, everything is locked. Yeah! Let's destroy those crates and get on our way. Reddington Field. Red wind. Oh, it just feels it feels very smooth. I do like it. Pete, it's me, bird. You woke up. Hey, what's up? I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. I don't know if these voices are any good or not. Hey, you sound upset. Your little sister went to look for the grown-ups. I told her not to, but she ran into the Shillam Wood. Yes, and dude, the grown-ups. They're all gone. All of them. They just started vanishing. So listen, Pete, your sister's been gone for a couple of weeks and it can't be good. You might want to prepare for the worst. Okay, quick, get me out of this cage and let's head to the Shillian Wood. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to do all that again. Skip, 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 skip. <laughs> okay, so I've got a little birdie friend. I was trying to do a... <laughs> Well, because I have I have, a, I have a bird as a pet downstairs, and it just shrieks all the time. So that's that's the kind of voice I was going for. <laughs> Although I don't I don't know if, if my voice will be able to hold out doing that for a long time. 
Okay, maybe it was. Maybe the voices are appropriate. Oh, yeah! Hey, Pete, up there! Do you see me? Yes. It's none of your business to look up at me. The mighty ninja. Come by your side. You know how amazing my swinging powers are. Yeah, cool. I don't want to be doing that voice, loads. Worm buttholes. That's neither here nor there. I swing, swing, swing all day and hide from the spiders, you know? Totally glad you understand. Most people don't understand. Hey, where have you been all summer, Pete? A coma. You're funny. We all know you were just sleeping in. Doofus poofus. Damn, I'm funny. Want to be funny, friends? Yeah. Great. I'll be here being funny and powerful. You should go now, okay, funny friend? Watch out for the spiders. They started getting worse when all the grown-ups decided to disappear. I'm glad I don't have to talk to you a lot. All my voices might sound the same as well, because I'm not good at them. <laughs> You're a big dude, in a well. Oh, I, oh, I thought I was walking on him for a second. A hey, pig face. Get over here and help me. How did this happen? It isn't it obvious? Puke. I have hyperinflanzatory disorder. I inflate randomly. <laughs> what can I do to help? Oh, most people just say you're fat. That's rude. Um, like I said, positivity. I'm not going to call him fat. Get me my insulin. You deaf puke fart. Where? Those little asses, the spiders, snatched it right out from my pocket and ran up a tree. I'm on it. <laughs> this man's just having a little clap happy fun. Oh, yeah. Watch out, Punky. That's me, Punky. <laughs> Why are you acting insane? I'm insanely dance. I can hear music in my mind. And I just dance pretty much all day and night. Nah. Want to hear the real reason I'm dancing? Sure. Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. Want to know what he said? He said if I ever stopped dancing, they would pinch my left butt cheek off and feed it to your mum. Ha 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 ha! You stupid little puke. Is, is, is my name... I was about to say, is my name Puke or something? But... I, I haven't actually found that out yet. But everyone seems to be calling me Puke. Oh, we got some... We're going to have some action here. Yeah! Die! Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I've got like a health bar or anything like that, actually. It didn't indicate that I have. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, die. Boom, one. Oh, no, get away, get away. Jumpy spider. See, they, they don't seem too much of a threat. It just depends on... Oh. Come on, spider, come. Come for me. I can't see you over there. I assume I got you. Ooh. Uh, do it. She seems to be sad. I'm going to climb the tree first. Uh, oh, this is my bird talking. What voice is like it? Pete, check it out. In the trees. Is that the insulin? I don't think I'm going to do that voice as a bird. Maybe, maybe a soft voice. Seeing as it's going to be my companion. <laughs> I don't want to be having to be squawky all the time. Oh, the bird's just going to grab the insulin. Nice. Um, I'll go back and do that first, and then I'll come talk to them. It's not like I'm trying to drag this video out or anything. <laughs> I just I want to have... I want to enjoy this experience for as long as I can. Boo! That looks like a butt. <laughs> but yeah, the environments and like, the music are like, so relaxing and like... It doesn't, it doesn't feel like there's any real threat at the moment just because of it's it feels so calm my insulin give me my insulin my butt face here pop me it hurts so bad but you have to pop me three two one go 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 stab oh no no i wanted to go towards the other lady i didn't realize i was going to fall down the well that was that's my bad Oh, thank you for playing. Okay, yeah. Surviving in the indie, indie game industry is tough, and your support means more than anything. Oh, well, I'm, I'm here to support you as much as I can. But yeah, that was a nice, nice little experience. I do... 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find out what that uh, girl or guy at the end of the of the level said quickly. So I'm gonna cut it here, and then just skip back to there. Okay. So I'll be with you in one minute. Okay. So we're back here at the end, and let's talk to this person. See what they say. Hi. Happy last day of summer, Pete. You too. I'm so glad to see you out of your coma. But I'm not sure we'll have school tomorrow, with the grown-ups missing and all. It makes me feel emotionally unstable. I care about you, so I'm going to ask you what's wrong. I mean, Fatty's got stuck in a well, spiders are stealing things, and our parents are gone. The world is ending, Pete. I just know it. So where are they? I don't know. My mum went missing, and then Dad left the next night. Lily says she remembered seeing my dad walk straight into the Shillian wood. Yeah, she went looking for them. Yeah, she's so brave. She told me I have to do what my big brother would do, and then ran off into the Shillian wood. Where is that? You don't remember the Shillian wood? It used to be our hangout just across the valley behind me. We built a big fort in the trees and everything. Ooh, how do I get there? I'm not sure, but the valley looks a little too wide to jump across, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I like this field instead. Oh, come on, Pete. You used to be so cool and brave before that coma. I missed the slice. All right, let's find her. You can do it, Pete. I'll do. Okay, so it wasn't like a terribly massive amount that adds to, to the story, but um, I did. Yeah, I just I feel like I had to get it done. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna leave things here. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, if you like this demo, you can go to the Game Drop webpage and download a copy of it yourself and have a little play around. Um, it's it's very pretty. It's very well made, I think. Um, the the movement of the character it feels like very smooth, and the actions are the, like chopping and things like that um, feel very like what's the word I'm looking for? Like responsive. Um, and it's like it's nice it's got a nice it's not too quick but and it's not too slow it's just like right in that like perfect middle zone like just it feels good um the music is wonderful as well it's at, at this stage it's like very just relaxing and calming like you're just getting to know everyone um very kind of exploratory kind of things like that but i i really enjoy this um it's making me quite it's making me um anticipate the the full game um a lot more <laughs> but let's be honest i'd never heard of this game until i downloaded it the other day so i'm glad i went searching for this um but yeah again thank you very much for watching um don't forget to hit that uh subscribe button down below uh check out the description for all the links to everything including where you can download the game uh links to my social media uh things like that um but that's it for the very first episode so i'll see you guys very soon bye Oh, 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 oh,